What's going on, y'all? I just wanted to chime in here and give y'all just a quick snapshot of uh, of how it's coming along inside the car. So, um, as you can see here, I've applied pretty much all the Pore 15 to the car uh, from the rear to the upper portion of the ceiling, as you can see right here down the pillars. Um, that's all two coats that I've applied already. Um, so, there's a quick close shot of it. Um, the floor, from the floor back to where the rear seat begins, that's actually one coat uh one coat and so um at least you can see the difference between one and two coats and so um that's about as far as i got but but i wanted to kind of chime in so you guys can see the difference and there's not much but it's recommended to put two coats uh, the black you the black part that you see on the firewall there that's actually a different spray um that i use it's a spray on but it's still pour 15 it's called pour 15 top coat and i'll talk about that here just a, in a moment um but all the gray here is uh, this stuff right here, Pore 15 uh, Rust Preventative. It's actually stuff that you can paint directly over um, bare metal or rust or whatever. Um, and it's supposed to um, help uh, at least uh, stop rust on a dime. Um, you know, really, really good for surface rust. Um, if you have anything other than that that might need to be cut out, you probably should do that before applying this stuff. But it's really, really good. And I've had um, a lot of success with it in the past, and that's why I went with it now. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking what I've been using, what it looks like, and how it's coming along. And so this is actually the stuff that I've been using, and it's been great. Um, I've been using a brush and a foam brush to apply it on, and it's uh, been going pretty well there. So um, that's the stuff that I've been using for that. Um, as far as the black paint that you see... Um, that's actually another product uh, that I use still from Pore 15, but why I use that is actually comes in an aerosol can. Um, and it was just easier for me to apply that um, to the front portion of the car. And as you can see here, um, it's, uh, there's a lot of different little pieces to the dash and, and on the side compartments and stuff like that where there's little holes and, and compartments and stuff like that. And so it was just easier for me to kind of spray inside there and um, and versus brushing it in. So that's why I used um, the can to just spray in those areas. It was just easier for me to do. Also, I wanted to use black in the front of the car that way. Um, I know the carpet and the dash and some other little things will we'll cover most of that but that way if you were able to see anything else that didn't get covered up by the carpet or um i'm going to lay down some dynamite material as well um at least it would just come out in black um i didn't realize that they made different colors of black so the one that i actually got is gloss black um but they make another one um that i'll actually will show here right now um, in a uh, chassis black it's kind of more of a satin so I think I'm gonna get that and use that for my firewall um, and then uh, I think that'll come out a lot better because when you use the spray to spray it on it kind of shows all the imp imperfections a little bit more versus in versus the the gray pour 15 that I have on here so for some reason um, there the, the can actually kind of shows any imperfections a little bit more and since I'm not really priming it first I'm just laying it directly over the metal um, that's probably one reason why so anyways that's where I'm at now with it y'all I think it's turning out pretty good um, and I'm just gonna keep at it and keep it going finish it up apply another coat to the floor and once I get it all done I'll uh, I'll do another video here but I just wanted to give you a quick quick little update on how it's turning out so all right.